Excuse me. <laughs> Come on in, Jimmy boy. I want you to check over this commissary report with Miss Crane. She said there's a few, what you call them? Discrepancies. You know how to fix that up? Yes, sir. How's things in Hall C? Pretty quiet? Too quiet. How's that? At least when they're noisy, you know what they're up to. They're too scared to let a peep out since I put that bunch in the hole. I don't think so. I have an idea they might quit eating tonight. Quit eating? You mean hunger strike? Yes, they're tired of spaghetti. Maybe a change of climate would improve their appetites. Klondike? Yeah. Klondike won't hold 3,500 men. It would hold Hall C. Yes, but Butch is in Hall C. What of it? He has a lot of influence with the other men. He's a troublemaker, and I'm going to sweat it out of him. I wouldn't try that, boss. Hunger makes men awful desperate. And if you torture them on top of that, there's no telling what could happen. Hunger strikes something I won't put up with in here. Creates a sensation all over the country. Then what? Cranks of every description start bitching about the brutal treatment of those goddamn mugs who would knife their own mothers for the price of a beer. The easiest way to avoid it would be to improve the food. Avoid it? Hell, I'll bust it to pieces. Wait till they see that gang we've got in the hole. If that don't make sufficient impression, I'll give them the heat. The man's a lunatic. Ask him who he is. He'll tell you Benito Mussolini. You're right about him. I suspected it last week when he made you show me the scars in your back. But just now, before you came in, he convinced me of it. What happened? He wanted me to go into that room with him. You didn't? No. I knew that he fired me, but he only laughed and he grabbed my arm. Look. What? I've got a blue mark where he pinched me. When he was a boy, I bet he got a lot of fun out of drowning kittens and ripping the wings off butterflies. Were you scared? Terribly scared. And at the same time, something else. What? If I told you, you'd be disgusted with me. Attracted? Yes, in a way. I knew that if he touched me, I wouldn't be able to move. And the pulps, they call that a fascinated horror. Yes, or a horrible fascination. So you're convinced then? It's no place for a lady? I'm not going to quit. Not yet. You know, if you wait for a third alarm, it might be too late. I'm going to stay! I've got a favorite nightmare, Jim. About finding myself all alone in a big empty house. Knowing that something or somebody is waiting behind one of the doors. Waiting to grab me. But instead of running out of the house, I always go searching. Opening all the closed doors. Even when I get to the last one. I open that one too, Jim. And what do you find? I don't know. I always wake up just then. So you're going to try the same thing here then? Something like that. Well, I can assure you, you won't be disappointed. Hand me those commissary reports. No, take this one out. Let's start over. See how much we got to we can get out of Packard 6. 10 pounds of sodium fluoride. Better make that 16. 
16 pounds of sodium fluoride. 16 pounds of sodium fluoride. You just gave me that. Oh, 20 bushels of... Jim? Yes? Why don't you ever open the door and you're hiding behind? What makes you think I'm hiding behind anything? Your eyes? The way your hands shake sometimes? Oh, that. It would help to let go. I mean, with the right person. Who's the right person? Me. And how do I know that? Because I tell you. Lots of people tell me lots of things, and most of them are lies. I'm not lying, Jim. I want you to trust me. Okay. Well, what is it then? What? Your hands. Why do they shake like this? I thought I gave you a clear demonstration of that once. When? That morning we heard the band playing. You mean it's repression? Yeah. That's it. Something that's locked up gets more and more all the time. Lots of men in here have fingers that shake like this. It's power. Out there, it runs dynamos, lights up whole big cities. But in here, all that power's gone to waste. It just feeds on itself, gets bigger, does nothing, until something sets it off like a match does a keg of powder. And then you get an explosion. Explosions are such a waste of power. Yeah? What's the alternative here? You're writing. The editorials for the Archaeotrix? No. Jim, you've got next month to think of. <laughs> next month is still in the laps of the gods, which is a complimentary way of referring to the Board of Pardons and Paroles. I don't know why, but I feel so sure of it, Jim. These last 10 years of, of waiting, they've made you so much stronger than other men. There's something inside of you, you've been building up, that when you let it out, nothing can stand in your way. You'll push down all the ordinary walls and walk right over them. People will ask, who is this man? Where is he from? And I'll smile proudly because I'll know. He's from another country, I'll say. He's a giant. He's got lightning in his right hand and thunder in his left. But I'll know. I'll know all the sweet, strange things that only a woman can know. And I can tell you. How many pounds is that? Uh, Sixteen. Are you getting along with that report? We haven't done much yet. We got to talking. About what? Fireworks. 